sorry to be correct there. Okay, anyway, today we are celebrating the 161st birthday of our national hero, Dr. Jose Protagio Rizal. And also, to the guys, Happy Father's Day today, okay? And now we'll start with the program. May I call on the, uh, the uh, front bearers for the entrance of colors for the Philippine flag, Sir Julan Guerno KCR. Julan. And Montel Deputy Commander. Sa dagat ang bundok, sa siyoy at sa langit mong bukaw May tilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng wataw at bulga kung may na naglilingling Ang pituwing at araw, kailan pa may magdiling Lupa ng araw ng luwal, pati pagsinta Puwela ang hit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. Okay, we'll start with the O Canada to be sung by me. O Canada, our home and native land, true We glow in hearts to see the light that soon are strong and free from far and to the flag of the Philippines and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, One nation under God. With, liberty with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Dante Tabamo. And now for the invocation. May call on Sir Hajal Gato, Chapter Commander. Magdasal muna tayo. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your abounding grace and invoke your presence in this gathering today and free to imbue us with your love and guide us to express the love in terms of faithful concern for our fellow men. We thank you for the memory of Dr. Harsilsa, who has been inspiring us to serve our country and selfishly. We thank you for the world of wisdom has left for us to cherish and to propagate. Grant us the courage and the strength to live up to his ideals and to persevere when the road is dark and thorny and seemingly endless. Teach us, O Lord, that life is not a race for wealth and power, but a career for noble living, not to unto us, but unto you, O God. Be all glory and praise, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you, Sir Hadjel. And now to give us the welcome address, may I call on Sir Dario Buko, KGUR, ECR Regional Commander. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. After two years of challenging times in our lives because of COVID-19 pandemic, we are happy and grateful to gather here in Plaza Zeliza. It is inspiring to see you all today. On behalf of Western Canada region, I convey my warmest greetings to welcome you all for the celebration of Dr. Jose Rizal 161st birthday anniversary here in Montreal. I hope this significant gathering will forge closer ties and unity among members. We shall remember that this occasion is also a way of showing our unity, camaraderie, and loyalty to our beloved organization, the Knights of Rizal. Every member of the Knights of Rizal is given a high degree of responsibility of propagating our national heroes, ideals, and teaching. Let us inculcate in our minds and in our hearts the teachings of Dr. Rosirza and propagate them in all among all classes of people around the world, particularly on the love of country and our women. Let us live the resilient spirit and help the brain of the tenets of permission alive. I am proud to say that the Knights of Rizal of Eastern Canada region has grown to be well-respected fraternal organization here in Montreal. I have said that because we demonstrate on how we bond and associate with other organizations, including federal, provincial, and municipal officials. You can count our members of the United Brazil for their loyalty, dedication, and undying support to our community. I will take also this opportunity to say thank you to our guest, Sir Sunny Moros, the councillor of Southern District and the councillor of Darlington, the first Filipina councillor, councillor Stephanie Valenzuela, and also the chairman of the Filipino Heritage of Society of Montreal, Sir Aladon, and all officers and members of different associations. I say thank you for coming and to all my brother knights who have shown their presence today and the ladies of Rizal. Thank you everybody for your presence. My sincere thanks, of course, to the brother knights and ladies of Rizal for their utmost support and cooperation and participation this memorable event. Taos puso po akong nagpapasalamat sa inyong ambag at tulong sa ating mahal na organisasyon, the Knights of Rizal. Mabuhay po tayong lahat and happy Father's Day po 
sa lahat ng mga tatay or to all fathers. May all of us blessed with a good health and success in all endeavors in the service of the mandate that is denied to resolve. Let us keep on organizing events which strengthen and reinvigorate the bonds of brotherhoods and nurture the doctoral social legacy and continue to share with each other. Thank you very much. Merci Boko. Marami pong salamat. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Mabuhay ang Knights of Rizal. Mabuhay! Thank you very much, Sir Dario. And now, for the inspirational message, can I call on Councillor Sunny Moros of the Snowdown District? I'm still learning my Tagalog and I, I haven't gotten as far as I want to, but I wanted to take the opportunity this morning to really give uh, what I'd like to call a, an inspirational speech. It's a dream come true to represent this area of Montreal. I've been thinking about this for 10 years. I've been working and getting up every morning so that I can stand in front of all of you on Father's Day just like today and know that I can represent your interests both at the city level, the borough level, and if need, the provincial and federal level. It's important because I've learned from the people who have come before me that you need to not just listen, you need to actively find out what's going on in people's lives so that you can improve it. And I'm very, very proud to be an elected official in front of you, alongside Stephanie Valenzuela, who is a powerful young leader in our community, someone who is not going to let you down and continue to fight for your interests. I've seen it. She is a fantastic politician, someone you will all be proud of every single year she represents you, and it will continue to be a fantastic version of what Cotonet should be and how the rest of Montreal and the rest of the province should listen to Cotonet, should listen to the Filipino community. And that's what I'm proud to do alongside her every single day. When we're at City Hall, we are just two out of 65 people on the island of Montreal who represent you at the city level. And that's a big responsibility. One that Marvin Rotran used to take on himself for 39 years. It takes two of us to replace him. But over time, the lessons that we've learned from Marvin Rotram will allow us to be four times the strength, to make sure that you get four times the amount of funding in this area, so you get four times as many activities and investments in this park and others that your families go to uh, today and many other days. That's the promise of the younger generation, that you can continue to build on the successes of the previous one. On a day like Father's Day, it's even more important that you point it out. Because I can tell you that I've met a lot of people in this area, Filipino, non-Filipino, and the fathers in front of me and the mothers in front of me today are some of the most incredible people on the island of Montreal, and I'm very proud to be alongside Stephanie, your representatives in Cote d'Edge. Thank you. No. I, I say all this because I want you to contact us. We are busy, but we're never too busy to listen and respond to your concerns. If it's a dog issue, something's going on in the park and the dogs are off the leash, please let us know. If, it's, if there's garbage in the parks or they don't pick up your garbage at home. We received dozens of calls this year because people didn't show up to work and your garbage wasn't picked up. But you pay taxes, so you contact us and we'll make sure it's picked up the next day. I want to end by just saying thank you to everyone who put me here. Alongside Stephanie, we didn't do this ourselves. It's through conversations at Second Cup. It's through dialogues in the backyards of community leaders and people who I respect. 
It's by going on walks with your dog and making sure that I meet the whole family when we do. This, this is what matters in Cote Edge. And I just, I want to say thank you to everybody. This is a dream come true, and it's only the beginning for us. We want to continue to build on the successes, but it means that you have to tell us what to do. You have to tell us what you need more in your parks and at your homes, so that next Father's Day will be even better. So I want to, I just want to say, Mabu Hayang, uh, Naisa Rizal, thank you for accepting me. Thank you for having me as part of your friends and family. It means the world to me. It's something I'll never forget, and I'll never let you down. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Sunny Morrow, a friend of the Filipino people. And now, may I call on the Lady Councillor of Darlington District, and Stephanie Valenzuela. Good morning, everyone. It's such an honor and a privilege to be in front of you this morning as your city councilor, as your first elected Filipino city councilor. I can't add more to what Sunny said, but as my experience as a young Filipino growing up here, organizations such as this one, the Knights of Rizal, are so important for us because it allows us to understand exactly who you know, did things for our community, who brought you know, the history, who allowed us to be who we are today. And this organization is doing exactly that. It's you know, sharing the values that our national hero brought on, brought on to us in the Philippines. And now we have this here in Montreal. And it's just so important that we pass this on to future generations. And I love seeing that there are new members in the Knights of Rizal goes from the youngest to the oldest members, and everybody shares these kind of values, and everybody shares you know, the importance of participating in community, the importance of gathering, the importance of our culture, and preserving all of that. So I'm just grateful that after two long years, we're finally here all together. We're here in front of Plaza de Rizal, a monument that is here in Montreal forever to stay, for Filipinos to understand who their national hero is, but also for non-Filipinos to come here and learn a piece of our history. And I'm happy to be a part of City Council to make sure that you know Filipino values and history will carry on, not just for our community, but for all of Montrealers to learn about who we are. So I'm just really proud to be Filipino. I'm really proud to be among all of you. And marami marami salamat po sa inyo mahat for all the support you've given Sunny and I from the very, very beginning. And I hope that you know that regardless of whatever happens, we are here to support you. We are here to you know, uh, help you in any of your projects and initiatives. And please don't hesitate to, to message us or to call us and say, hey, you know, we didn't get our check yet from the city. You know, help us out and do that. Anything and everything is an important cause to all of us. So once again, maraming salamat po si and Mabuhay, um, nice and Thank you so much. Okay, to give us also a message is Sir Bert Abiera, KGR, Regional Archivist of the Knights of the Sound. Thank you. Fellow Knights, You have your heart given truly as a knight, but still more has to be improved and to learn more about yourself. Because we just partially know what we were told, but there is a deeper meaning to be a knight. It takes a heart in dedication to be called a true knight. But don't be discouraged. Rome was not built overnight. And we knights have to learn every piece of it day after day. In response to our counselors, thank you for bringing up the topic that all we need is ask. <laughs> we have so many needs, but you open our minds that what we need, we have to ask in order to get it. 
My first request. My Sumisal have grown tremendously. In fact, we are bigger than Toronto already. We have so many chapters with members. Unlike other regions, they have some chapters but no members. And we are complete and dedicated members. In response to Sunny Moros, my Subrisal exceeded not everybody, no so much, but it's already 28 years already. My Subrisal chapter was completed and installed in the year 1998, a year after uh, a year after Centennial Independence Day celebration of the Philippines when President Ramos granted this bus of Rizal for the Filipinos here in Montreal. So we have this grown similarly thanks for the city for installing the beautiful edifice that but of course we when you ask there's never been enough. We could ask for more. And respond to Sunny Moros, I want this place by next year. This place of Rizal will be surrounded by Philippine flag. The whole area of Plus Rizal. Sorry, you brought up the topic, but we ask and left. So don't worry. You will be the penis of Rizal and the whole community of the Philippines will be behind you. You too. Venezuela, we are very proud that you happen to be with us. And you agreed our suggestion that we need the representation of the city because we could be one thing more, but if nobody speaks out for us, we are nothing. So we are, we could make or break any politician if we get united. So that's it. We Filipinos are willing and very politically minded that we always support whom we think is the right person. And you are, both of you are lucky. Amen. So I expect the Knights of the South will be more and more be helpful to the civic organization and to the whole community. And of course with the city, because without the projects of the community, city has no project. The project of our community, especially the garden range, is the project, become the project in the city. Us and you will get it. That's all. Thank you very much, Sir Bert Aviera, for the nice speech. And now, may I call again for a message. Sir Felix De Luna, KGR, Deputy Commander of Eastern Canada. Magandang umalag po sa inyo lahat. Ito pong Sir Ed, siya po ang Regional uh, Auditor ng Eastern Canada Region. <clears throat> Sir Bagro po lahat, Happy Father's Day. And uh, sa mga ladies po, ay Happy Mother's Day. Noong nakalaang linggo. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings, my fellow knights. Ladies of the knights, kababayang salisa, our friends, who continually support the knights of Rizal. Thank you for coming. Maraming salamat po. First of all, I would like to start by thanking all the wonderful speakers, especially to the councillor, Stephanie Valenzuela, Darlington District, our brother and I, Sir Councillor Sally Moros, 
Filipino by heart of his Northern District. Thank you all for gracing us with your presence in our 161st commemoration of third anniversary of Philippine National Hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Today, we honor our Filipino forefathers whose dream was a country that was built under a foundation of freedom and democracy. Through their acts of bravery, heroism, and sacrifice, give birth to a nation of hardworking, resilient, and proud Filipino men and women, and all over the world. It is for this reason we are here today. This past few years was filled with uncertainty, fear, and challenge, which is why it feels so good to see you all assembled here today. Because this shows how we as a people have never quit, never surrendered, be united as we can overcome COVID and whatever challenge that may come our way. As I look at everyone gathered here today, I can't help but overjoy that finally we could gather and spend time and have fellowship with one another. This only shows me that even in a pandemic and all the obstacles that it comes with it, the Knights of Rizal is an organization and the Filipino community leader are adaptable and persistent the most means of challenge will not be defeated, but will move forward in a future that is filled with hope and great potential. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Happy Father's Day ulit. And no on this morial. God bless us all. Marami po salamat. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Felix De Luna. That was a nice speech. Okay, also to give us a message is our area commander, JGOR, Sir Jerry Dancel. Good morning, everyone. First of all, allow me to greet uh, our distinguished guest, Councillor Sani Moros and Councillor Stephanie Valencia. Today, uh, 161 uh, birthday of our national hero, hero Dr. Rosario At the same time, for each and every one, fathers, happy Father's Day. I would like also to say, and take this opportunity to thank all chapter commanders who are present today because this is the first celebration that area one and area two joining in one celebration which is the greatest uh, birthday of our national hero. So, the Kababayan Rizalista, uh, I would like to say also a great uh, appreciation. Good morning to you, a Lady uh, Spee Manao. 
Thank you for giving your time to be with us this morning. To the President of uh, Heritage, Sir Al Abdon. Fellow Brother Nice. In the leadership of Sir Dario Bobo, the Regional Eastern Canada Commander, and also Sir Felix Luna, the Deputy Area Commander, a Regional Commander, to all officers of the Eastern Council, Regional, Regional Council. Thank you for your support in this celebration. Fellow brother knights, I will encourage every one of you to renew your pledge and be a part of our international organization that we are powered by the Order Republic Act 646 and that give us the mandate to serve our nation, our community. Please remember the code of Dr. Rosirizal and I will read that as we as a part of the as member of the Night of Israel we consider ourselves that if you don't hold yourself or decide to read. We need the glasses. Because of the sun that makes this uh, uh, cell phone uh, hard to read. But he said, a life which is not consecrated to a great idea is like a stone wasted in the fields, never to become a part of one in peace. That's the God that we always put into our heart. We are all members, but if you don't put importance to yourself being a member, you are not considered result in hearts, in words, and in deeds. Doing all the promises that we always inculcate to the minds of every people, not only to Filipinos, but all kinds of mankind and in any type of origin. One more time, Brother Knights, please. Make the promise important to our organization. Maraming salamat po. At sanay sa araw na ito ay magiging tapat kayo sa mga adikay ng ating bayani, Dr. Porcin. Once again, maraming salamat po. Sa inyong lahat, God bless us all. Happy Father's Day. Yes. Thank you very much, Sir Gary Dancel. And now, we call again for a message from Sir Julius Abad, KCR A2 Commander. Uh, isang mamapalag, maalam na magpati, kuna sa akin para sa ating lahat nito na dito ngayon sa araw na ito. At uh, kung ilubos siya po kasalamat dahil nandito sa atin ang ating mga magiging na mga babatas na sina Ginoong Salimoros at uh, ang sariling atin si Binibining Kakalang-Kalang de Semarin Valenzuela. Masabi kong napakapalad at nag-iisa ang araw na ito dahil 
ating inatiriwal ang ika sandaan at alin na po isang karawan ni Dr. Rosarizal. Ba't ko nasabing mabalan? Dahil ito ang kaunaunahang pagdiriwang ng karawan ni Dr. Rosarizal dito sa silagang regyon ng Canada. The first celebration of a birthday ni Dr. Rizal as a region. At uh, gusto ko rin pasalamatan ang mga nagagandahan at madaling lapit ang mga ina na ating sinasabing kababayan ni Dr. Rizal dahil hindi ko, kwen, hindi ko kayo pwede patihin ng Happy Father's Day kung wala yung mga mother natin. Kaya, uh, ulit, gusto ko magpasalamat sa pagdami ninyo sa amin sa pagdiriwang na ito at sana sa susunod na pagdiriwang ay buong-buo na po natin tayong lahat. Yan lang ang gusto kong pagkita sana at maramdaman na ang pagkakaisa natin ay mas maiting pa kaysa nangyayari ngayon. Kaya, thank you very much at magandang araw sa atin lahat. Uh, thank you, Sir Julius Sabad. And now, for the last guy to give us a message, it's none other than Sir James Dilapaz, KJUR Regional Council. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so fast because it's uh, I know uh, it's time for us to uh, go to the right side. Um, and first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to um, acknowledge the presence of our uh, the ever loving and the ever beautiful Stephanie Valenzuela, the counselor. And also the uh, the ever handsome Councilor Sally Moroz, I think they're there. Right? Yeah, they're there. Also the uh, the uh, chairman. Oh, he's still there. Look how the good-looking counselor. And my view is also a uh, secret. Ah, I don't know. All right. So I'd like to. Uh, to give a special thanks to our commander, uh, Sir Dario Bogo, who is actually the big boss, our big boss in Eastern Canada, and the, the, the vice, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Sir Philip Zaluna, and also the chairman of the, uh, the, uh, the famous heritage, uh, the one and only uh, Sir uh, Abdon. Uh, Al Abdon. And uh, we thank each and every one our brother nice to be here. And also the mother and happy Father's Day for all those people of all the fathers who got their kids. Okay? And the thing I would like to impress right now, although it's not the independent day, uh, we know that Dr. Jose Rizal died under this flag. But do we understand what is the meaning of this flag right here? We have been we've been uh, we've been uh, displaying this flag for a long time. For those people who are not well versed on the meaning of this color, it is not only for decoration decoration purposes. Okay, it has meaning to it. One of them is the uh, the sun. The sun that symbolizes. Our country with eight provinces, each each right chapter right here represent the provinces of our country. And now, and now the three stars are the three big provinces, which is Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Now here's the best part, and I think this is the only flag that signifies what's going on in the world when there is war. Okay, our flag is being displayed with the red color on top. 
and during peacetime, which is now, that's the reason why you'll see that our flag being displayed, the blue color is on top. I'm proud to say that we have a very, very uh, a symbolic uh, flag that represents our country. You don't have to ask what's going on. When you see the red color on top, you know there is a world war going on. Okay? And I don't want to see that in your house with your red flag on top. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank my fellow brothers, especially the officers and uh, uh, all the members. Um, I, I'm very happy to see you, as our commander said. This only shows our unity. We have to expand the membership because we have a noble cause, which is to spread the teaching of Dr. Jose Rizal. The love of our country is number one, is paramount. Okay, you can see. And also, I didn't have a chance to talk and thank Mayor Bolt, the former mayor, who actually had given us this monument here. Because by the time, by the time that we are ready to say, you know, thank you to him, he left. And I know he's still in, uh, in and out uh, in China. But I'm still tracking him down. Once I, uh, I'll find out where he is actually residing, we will invite him and make him our special guest. Because he's the guy who gave us the part. There's a part before at Queen Mary there. It's called Park Hotel is out. This is only the second one. And that's also way of work. He also has given us the uh, basketball court there. Thomas Lovey for it. I was the president at the time. These are the things that we were not able to speak to Mayor Borg and thank him heartily. And I will make sure I will keep on digging where he's deciding and we're going to invite him and make him a hero. Because right now, I was just, uh, it was just whispered to me. We're not really satisfied that it's only Bas of Rizal that is here. So we're going to be spearheading to have a statue of Dr. Rizal here. The whole body here. Not only the, the, the word they say is life size, whatever it is. But it's not that tall, it's only six, well, five, eleven, five, five, four. So it's not really a big expense for whoever is going to create or build that. Anyway, thank you uh, for your time. On behalf of my commander, uh, Sir Dario, we would like to tell you that, you know, have a good time. And the next time, like Sir Bert was saying, we will request the city to march up. The park racing we're going to do to buy the flag and have this place surrounded by the Philippine flag, the flag that is symbolizing our life and our tradition and the Philippines. Okay, so uh, we're going to do something about it and we'll make sure that this thing will be realized. And thank you to one and uh, also happy Father's Day again. And my next question, are you happy? No. Okay. So, all right, so let's have a good time. Let's have a good time. The food is waiting out there. Let it right, like usual. And uh, please enjoy the day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the chartering ceremony of the 40 days chapter. May I call on Sir Reynaldo Balance to give the sword for the all of office. And I can call also the Knights of Result for the latest chapter officers, chapter commander, Sir Adolfo Nicolas, deputy commander, Sir Kelly Owen, Sir Persugan, oh, Paterno Sakarias, sorry for that, Persuan, Sir Francois Lajunes, Exeker, Sir Martin Shalom, Archivist, Sir Jose Acosta, 
Auditor Sir Dionisio Dinos Reyes, Trustee Sir Pedro Dancel, and Trustee Sir Ennis Calcon. All members of the police chapter, you may come forward to go around. This is the official chaptering of the Codinese Chapter Montreal, Quebec. The Supreme Council of the Knights of Rizal has granted by this presence that hereby grant the members whose names are affixed to the applications for the chapter formations duly approved by the Supreme Council and to all regularly elected members thereof and their successors, this chapter fully constituting them into overseas chapter of the order under the name and title of Codinese Chapter Montreal Quebec. With all the rights and privileges pertaining to the chapters and members on records of the Knights of Rizal, According to its charter amended by laws now in force and of those to be heard after promulgated. This charter shall be full in force and effect from the date thereof and for such times as the charter and the members thereof shall conform with and abide by the charter amended by laws of the Knights of Rizal as well as the resolutions, rules, and regulations promulgated by the Supreme Council and Council of Elders, and the appropriate circulars of the memoranda issued by the Supreme Commander for Suman, and by virtue of the power the state in need by the amended violence of the order, otherwise this chapter shall be removed. In witness of and therefore, in duty of the rights officers of the Supreme Council of the Knights of Rizal, here under and to affix their signatures, cost the seal of the Order of Knights of Rizal on this day of 12 June 2022 on the occasions of the night of chattering and induction ceremonies. Here, here in Montreal. Signed, Sir Vanis Elio, it is the Supreme Commander, and Sir Mark Roy Wallace. I handle this to the incoming Chapter Commander, Sir Boy Nicholas. Good afternoon, everyone. Now we are uh, for the important uh, uh, important uh, for this uh, time. We are going to sort Sir Adolfo Nicolas as uh, uh, into his third degree in order that he will be qualified to become the chapter commander of of the uh, Montreal chapter. Now, in the completion of his meritorious service in signal accomplishment in the study, propagation and practice of the values, ideals, and duties of Dr. Richardson, and acknowledgement of his unceasing pursuit of and continuing action of actualize the lofty objectives in the picture. Is that? Uh, I also may I call on Sir Francois Lajunis here, elevated to second degree rank. Next is uh, Sir Martin Chalmax. 
שלום, 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 קיאר, אבחוני ליץ, כולם אשר, יש אורסיו לביטל תודרם אוף שיקון דיקרי, באת עתיד שתחיר, לא, אוריס אוויטו. Now, as I call you, please come over and receive your certificate before I will throw you into the office. Sir Owen Kelly Florindo. Sir Patello Zacarias. Sir Franco Alajunis. Franco. Sir Monty, hello. Hello. Sir Lucia Costa. And Sir Luis Rodriguez. And also Sir Pedro Darcy, are you here? And Sir Ernesto Galcon. Okay, uh, we'll make it fast. Okay, uh, make your line straight and then uh, raise your right hand. And I will show you in the office. Awane? Okay, please raise your right hand. I insert your name. Those who are in this world, that I will carefully and consistently fulfill to the best of my ability my duties as military in your position of the honor of the United States of the South, ordinary chapter, sir. Follow in a form. It's called the And obey such rules and regulations. Presented by the Supreme Council. And that of the Chapter Council may communicate from time to time. That I impose upon myself this obligation voluntarily. Without mental reservation, the purpose of revision. So, very clear. You will sign your position, you will take the company, and I will sign it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I call Sir Kelly Luke to receive this distinguished service honor? Sir Kelly. Sir Kelly. Thank you very much, Chapter Commander and members of the Civilist Chapter. Meron kang silver, but
Michael, Sir Ali and Sagai, Isha, to receive this lifetime plaque. And also, Sir Ali. In the same way, the order of night to resolve by resolutions and which they approved by the Supreme Council and by its members in the Supreme Assembly hereby confers this distinct honor as lifetime member of Pan Ser Honyunguna, each year in grateful recognition of his patriotic independence and in continuing his work to the order for the suit of the noble aims and objectives of the perpetuate the memory of Dr. Zilzal and to propagate his ideals and teaching. May I call the wife to give his corresponding medal for the third degree. Looking good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is our thing. Excuse me, Sir Peter. Sir Peter and Andrew, please have a word. You will receive your certificate. Okay. 